Hey guys, Hi. I'm Sarah, this is Christy. We're here from RBT up on the Gold Coast. We're just here today to go through some dowel rod stretches slash exercises with you guys. So we're just gonna focus on upper back and shoulders. I've got about three for you to go through, something that you might be able to do at home if you've got a spare broomstick or inside the clubs, which just might help loosen that back up and those shoulders for you. So we're gonna start with a T-spine stretch. I'm just gonna get Christy to demonstrate. So what we're getting Christy to do here is standing with her hands around shoulder height. And what she's gonna do is she's slowly gonna bend at the hips into the movement. She's slowly gonna start to pull her hips up, get her butt up a little bit, and just hold the stretch for around 15 to 30 seconds. So we're gonna see you know, her hips are going up, trying to pull that chest into the ground, really feeling the stretch up through your upper back. How's that feeling, Christy? Good. Where are you feeling the stretch? Oh, I feel my hamstring. Yeah, cool. Okay. All right, so we're a bit tight. So coming back up. And we're going to go back down into that one again. Okay, cool. And coming back up. So starting to feel that stretch through your back as well now? Yeah. Good. Yeah, cool. The next one we're going to go into is a bit of a shoulder rotation. So we're just going to get Christy to take a seat on the bench. She's just going to pop this medicine ball in between her legs, and that's just going to help keep the hips mobile and in place. She's going to tuck that down rod in her elbow creases, pulling her hands into her stomach, resting sort of at her belly button. From here, Christy's going to drop her shoulder and start to rotate. Cool. So what we want to aim for with this movement, the last one we held for about 15 to 30 seconds, this one we just want to aim with around 5 to 10 rotations, 10 in total, 5 each side. Keep it nice and slow. So this one also helps with your flexibility, so if you're not getting much movement, that's going to help get that flexibility happening for you. How's that feeling, Christy? Very good. Can you feel yourself loosening up a bit, getting a little bit more movement? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, cool. Alright, so one more to the other side. Slide that one out. Thank you. Make sure you've got a smooth dowel rod, guys. Don't want any splinters. <laughs> All right, so the last one we're going to do is just going to focus again on that shoulder movement. So we're starting with the dowel rod at underneath our butt, the length of our arms pretty much. So you're going to place your hands on the outside and from there you're just going to slowly sort of shrug it up. And back down. Where are you feeling that one the most? I'll stretch the shoulders. Yeah, cool. Alright, let's go one more. Awesome. So just from these three Darrot stretches, guys, you should start to feel a bit more movement through your shoulders, getting that rotation happening, and also through your T-spine, your upper back. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to let us know and we'll answer them for you. But well, hopefully this helps you out. Thanks, guys.